call or go online. Do you own a laser printer, copier, or a fax? Well then, listen close to this announcement. Laser Technologies has been providing high-quality, frustration-free toner cartridges that are guaranteed not to harm your equipment for over 20 years. Laser Technologies will save you on your supplies with high-quality and fast delivery. Savings up to 50%. Laser Technologies supplies toner, imaging drums, developer and cartridges for most of the major brands. For a price quote, send an email to service at laser-technologies.com. Include your printer make and model for your part number. Call us at 561-792-9600. That's 561-792-9600. Laser Technologies, providing 100% of the quality at a fraction of the price. 561-792-9600. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Roger's Gotcha Motoring. If you need a local auto repair shop, Roger's Gotcha Motoring will take care of all of your automotive repair needs. If you need something as simple as an oil change or as complex as an engine overhaul, I have the latest in technology and the knowledge to get the job done right. We've been servicing Pinellas County since 1994 and are conveniently located at 3700 Fifth Avenue North in St. Petersburg, Florida. If you need service, call now at 727-327-1830 or visit my website at www.rogersgotchamotoring.com or like my Facebook page at Rogers Gotcha Motoring for a complete list of all of our services. So come on over to Rogers, that's me, and get your car service today. And don't forget to shop and support local business. Call now to book your appointment at 727-327-1830. That's 727-327-1830. Or swing on by. K-Pasa Mexican Cantina is where friends and neighbors come to connect, share, and celebrate one another in a festive, casual atmosphere. Offering rich, robust flavors of authentic Mexican cuisine, we use only the freshest, finest ingredients. We chop and dice, season and blend, and then cook everything we serve to perfection. One thing that makes Mexican food even better is one of our delicious Best of the Bay margaritas. Our signature series of margarita flavors range from our sweet and fruity mango and strawberry to our hot and juicy jalapeno margarita. Having a busy meeting, or getting together and looking for Mexican food? Try our Fast Facts form. It's an easy, fast way to order your favorite Mexican food. We have special platters and layouts for any occasion. The form is super easy to fill out. Fax, email, or just call it in. Whether it's here in the restaurant, in your home or office, at k Pasa, we celebrate bringing people together. k Pasa Mexican Cantina, 10478 Roosevelt Boulevard, North Street, in the Gateway Shopping Center, 727-330-3663 in St. Petersburg. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Hey, this is Captain Hook for Statewide Pest Control Services. They've been serving the west coast of Florida since 1987. Statewide does it all. Pest control, termites, lawns, mosquitoes, tent fumigations, etc. This announcement is from their mold division. Since Hurricane Charlie in 2004, all their personnel are certified in mold and moisture control. Their two-step services are guaranteed to get you back in your home quicker and, in most cases, paid by your insurance company. Give them a call at 877-488-7378. That's Statewide Pest Control Services for all your pests and mold control needs. Serving Florida from Pasco to Lee Counties. Statewide Pest Control Services, 877-488-7378. 877-488-7378. That's 877-488-7378. You're listening to WDBFRadio.com, a tune-in station. All I grab my fishing pole and cast it in the water. I'm fishing till dawn. Oh my, I caught a shark. I'm fishing in Florida. When the sun shines all day. It's the Fish Florida Show with your host, Riscola Stevens, bringing the outdoors to you every Sunday morning, 8 to 10 a.m. on the WDBF Radio Network. And now, your host, Riscola Stevens. 
Good morning, everyone. Oh, my goodness gracious. I am coming to you from West Palm Beach, Florida, and um, i got to tell you, the people here in West Palm Beach are not prepared for what is going on regarding the weather. <clears throat> so all of you people up there in the north, would you please do me a big favor and take your weather back? <laughs> I woke up this morning to 47 degrees here where I live. Those are curse words for Floridians, whether you're aware of that or not. And um, right now it's warmed up to a big 49. So uh, those of us who have lived here most of our lives have just about every piece of clothing that we own on today, <laughs> if we want to go outside. So welcome to the Fish Florida Show. Good morning. It is an honor and a privilege to be with you. I am so happy that you took the time to uh, allow me to share with you some of the information that we have. We have a whole group of people coming on this morning, as we usually do, um, information about fishing. Uh, probably this morning, I'm going to have um, some information about hunting as well, as we have more and more of the um, the different areas that are available for hunting, and I, I, I contact them, and uh, they're willing to come on Um more and more we'll have uh, information regarding hunting. So uh, it's not just about fishing. It's about being able to enjoy yourself outdoors with all the different um, uh, activities that we have, whether it's kayaking, snorkeling, spear fishing. That's something I'm looking for. So if you know of anybody out there that does spear fishing, I haven't had anybody on that does spear fishing. I'd be interested in speaking with them and maybe having them on and uh, them sharing with us um, how they, you know, how they do the spear fishing thing. Um, other than that, we are, uh, we have the heater on high. <laughs> I know you guys up there are laughing at me. I have a daughter that lives in Ohio. <clears throat> when I call her up and I say, honey, it's like 60 some odd degrees outside. I am freezing. There is a moment of silence. And I know during that moment of silence, she is biting her tongue because she doesn't want to laugh in my face. Um, she is the kind of girl that would go out in 58, 55 degree weather. You would see her in, uh, jeans and flip flops. And a short top, a short sleeve top. Uh, she has become so well acclimated to it. I don't know that I would ever be able to be acclimated to it. That's why I live here. And hopefully uh, we will see some of that warm weather that we look forward to here very shortly. So today we're going to have some people from all around. I've got somebody coming in from Lake Placid, Florida. I've got Mike Simcoe. If you've uh, been listening to the show, Mike is with KiteFishing.com. He's going to talk a little bit about kite fishing. I find that very intriguing. I... um. Years ago, when I had my boat, I would see people doing it, but they were always moving. Uh, come to find out, you don't necessarily have to be moving. It depends upon the weather and uh, the winds out there. Uh, we're going to have Captain Ron Reintraub. Uh, we're going to have uh, Chuck Donnie. Chuck is a, a new guest on the show. Uh, Reed Simmons. Reed is going to be with the Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart is a very unusual product, um, something that I wish I had many years ago, a, a way to be able to store your rods and reels without them beating each other up and getting tangled. If anybody's ever done that, you know how, how difficult that is. And we have Dennis coming up later. Uh, Dennis is a local. He's going to give us a fishing report. <clears throat> have a new guy coming in, Mike Bird. He's with Bob Light Bobbers. He's going to tell us a little bit about uh, his product, and he also has a very uh, unique landing net. Uh, Andam Pacell. Andam is another new guest. He is a uh, individual who works at one of the local marine um Tackle stores, We're going to have him call in. Of course, Kyle or Andy, I couldn't do it without Kyle or Andy. Thank you, Kyle and Andy. They are with Dockside Services. They are the people that uh, provide fuel for many of the people down there in the Keys. I uh, have Tim Ortego coming in. He's going to be uh, calling in from Louisiana. Uh, let's see, we have Pasta. Mr. Pasta is going to be calling in today. He's an artist out of the Keys. He's going to give us a fishing report. And finally, we'll have Robert Warner. Robert is with uh, Fishing Florida Magazine. So right now, I believe we have Lee on the phone with us. Lee, good morning. I'm not going to ask you how the weather is there because I'm freezing my behind off. Welcome to the Fish Florida Show, and thank you, sir, for taking the time to call in. Welcome to you, and thank you for having me. Yes, it's very cold. <laughs> now, I, you're in Lake Placid? Yes. It's, we're actually Venus. It's actually South Lake Placid, uh, uh, you probably no, feel like you're on the planet Venus today. That's correct. <laughs> ice, ice around the last couple mornings. Luckily, this morning there was no frost. Wow. So let's talk a little bit about what uh, what do you do, Lee? We have a hunting out, outfitting business here. Um, we have uh, a 2,000 acre a hunting preserve um, that we do whitetail deer in. Um, we have. Uh, about 500 acres of 
just uh, native flatwoods that we do. Osceola turkey hunts and wild boar hunts on. Uh, we also have uh, several ranches that we lease uh, do alligator uh, management on and and harvest alligators year round. Wow. Uh, so if I understand you correctly, if someone contacts you, they have a variety of different um, animals that they can go after. Yeah, we can do. Our biggest thing is alligators and hogs and wow. uh, white-tailed deer. Now, if if I come to you, do I is am I going to require a license? Um, for the alligators, we do. For the uh, wild hogs, you do not. For the white-tailed deer inside the hunting preserve, you do you do not. Mm-hmm. So, is it kind of like I know that when I go out on a like a commercial fishing boat, um, I don't have to have a fishing license because I'm under that particular boat's license. Is it kind of like that? That's- with with the hunting, yeah, we we just have a blanket preserve that covers you, blanket preserve license yeah. that covers you here. So, uh, but it's simple. I mean, any any of the stuff. This say the the um, the alligator license is very convenient. You get it right over the telephone. Um, you can. Uh, it's it's a convenient thing. We we no one mm-hmm. shows up and and has to. There's any hassle on the license. And do you have are, lodging there as well? Say that again. Do you have lodging? Do you have availability uh, there for are, someone to stay do. there? We do. We have um, that now. We have a, a three bedroom lodge. They're getting they're getting ready in the next uh, thirty days to to start a eight thousand square foot lodge. Hopefully by September first, it'll be ready to go next next uh, oh. next September. Now, you, you mentioned. You mentioned you you are on quite a bit of land. I think I heard two thousand acres on one of, one of them, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. With with yeah, all that exactly. land, I know this is going to be a kind of a silly question, but with all that land, do you have lakes there as well that you go fishing on? Um, no, no fishing. We've got some 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 cow wells, some just some small ponds that have some fish in them, and and uh, not 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 bass, panfish, mm-hmm. but uh, nothing 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 spectacular. If someone wants to, if someone wants to reach you, Lee, how do they do that? Uh, our website is is floridahuntingoutfitter dot com. floridahuntingoutfitter dot com. We have a Facebook site that our Facebook site's Out West Farms Hunting. Out West Farms Hunting, and uh, or you could, uh, or you could just do a probably do a Google search for gator hunting and. Hopefully, we'll be right at the top of the list. Oh, really? So if someone was to search gator hunting, in, um, do they have to search gator hunting in Venus, Florida, or Lake Placid, Florida, or just gator uh, hunting? You, you do gator hunting in Florida. Go mm-hmm. in Florida, and we should pop up. And is there a phone number that they can call? Uh, yes, sir. 863-634-3262. Well, Lee, thank you so much for taking the time and, and spending and sharing with me this morning. I'm I, really interesting that I didn't realize that, that your place was so large. So altogether, how many acres do you have altogether? We've got about 2,500 here. Wow. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for hog, if you're looking for deer, if you're looking for alligator, uh, the man to call is Lee Lightsey with Out West Farms. You can find him on the web. You can find him on Facebook. You can also find him on the archives if you've missed any of this. Our shows are archived, and you can always go back and listen to the show. Lee, God bless you, sir. Wish you a wonderful day. Hope it warms up for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lee. Hope to have you back on sometime in the future, my friend. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you. So long. All right. My next guest is I... uh, I, I explained to you earlier, Mike Simcoe with KiteFishing.com is something that I find very intriguing to me because it's something I never really did. I guess that's why I find it so intriguing. Um, we spent so much money on on fuel running our boat back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, when I realized that that not necessarily be uh, something you have to do. You may have, uh, if the if the conditions are right, you can have a kite, you can have the right kind of equipment. And you can almost do the same thing you're doing while you're trolling. Save that gas 
And uh, my goodness, it's a heck of a lot quieter, I'm sure, as well. So, Mike Simcoe, good morning, sir. Welcome to the Fish Florida Show. Thank you for calling in. Good morning, Briscala. How are you? I am doing well, my friend. Uh, are you off uh, fishing right now? No, fish the last few days and uh, taking Sunday off to work on the boat. Um, and then we start again Monday Monday through Saturday next week where we have the Silver Sailfish Derby. That'll be my uh, next tournament. And, and what, what derby was that? It's called the Silver Sailfish Derby. It's the uh, the world's oldest sail, sailfish tournament, billfish tournament. It's been around since the 30s. Uh-huh. Um, and it's right here out of West Palm Beach. It's a wonderful event. Wow. And and when does that run? Um, first day is Wednesday evening, the captain's meeting, and then uh, fishing is on uh, Thursday and Friday. And Saturday is the awards banquet at the Sailfish Club in Palm Beach. So who who could, if anybody's interested in this, who what's the right way to go? Who do they contact? What you do is... Um, Go to the website, westpalmbeachfishingclub.org, and there's um, a tab for a registration page, the rules, um, and um, it's real easy to enter. So, um, Excellent. Right now, there's about 40-plus 40, 40 boats in this, so it's a big one. Wow. So, and, and so let's talk a little bit about the action that's going on out there. Since we're talking about billfish and sailfish and that thing kind of thing, how is the action going? It got really great for a while this week. You know, with that big cold push that came through um, midweek, um, the cold weather coming out of the north-northwest pushes these fish, which are in the northern quadrant, let's say, of the Atlantic, pushes them south into our area, um, which starts our sailfish season in South Florida. So it was just great fishing. Um, we caught, in three hours, we caught five, released five sailfish um, a couple different mornings this week. Thursday and Friday, and then we, um, a couple boats, friends of mine, were out, caught double-digit fish, 10 fish plus. Wow. <laughs> i got to tell you, when you get double digits and you're talking about sailfish, to me that is that is highly rare. It's just, it's so exciting. I mean, and it's not as rare as you might think for the teams that, you know, are really? very efficient, you know, as, oh. they, as they put their baits out. And kites, kites help that whole process. You know, you can fight a fish. You can be fighting a fish and still fishing while your while your other baits are sitting, you know, comfortably against you know a different. Let's just say the different area of the boat with the kite flying. I'm I'm glad you brought that up because that was something I wanted to ask you, um, and you answered it perfectly. So theoretically, you could have a fish on if the wind was blowing in the right direction, or if the if, if the vessel's moving quick enough, you could actually have a kite in an opposite direction waiting for some more fish to show up. Correct. I mean, you know, these kites, the way that they bend and the way you can basically uh, control their flight, you get a good spread of almost 45, maybe 90 degrees in some cases, but, you know, they're 90 degrees apart um, in whichever way the wind is blowing. And if the fish cooperate, quick story, uh, one of my uh, one of my friends who owns a boat called Real Captivating, he was, uh, they had a triple on, so three fish mm. bit, all at the same time. And wow. he said it looked like a peace sign. So so the fish did cooperate. One went one direction, the other went, you know, 180 degrees, and then you had one go right up the middle, and they cut all those fish. Wow. All at the same time. You know, with the way that they – I've watched this many times. I've experienced it few. Normally, uh, we'd be out there pulling bait, and we'd hook into one of these guys. The visual that comes from, I mean, not only the physical part of this, but the visual with these things coming out of the water, going back down, flashing. Um, they are a beautiful species of fish. Uh, it's too bad we can't eat them. <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny you say that. You're right. I mean, but, you know, we just prize them so much as a nice sport fish that we can release and catch again and again. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, there are some folks that do. I mean, they say they're delicious smoked. Um, the regulations do allow... The anglers to keep keep one per day, mm-hmm. I believe, and uh, people love them on the smoker. But I, I personally like to release them. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Mike, I believe you have a website, and it's kitefishing dot com. Is that correct? Correct. And if people want to reach you, uh, they find you, of course, on the web. Are you on Facebook as well? 
I have a, I have a page for kite fishing on Facebook. It's called Kite Fishing Experts, Mike Simcoe. And, um, of course, the website that you just, just mentioned, and they can always reach me by my mobile phone. And, and would you give that number out? Absolutely. That's 561-718-2328. And that is Mike Simcoe. He's with KiteFishing.com. Mike, again, thank you so much. It was short notice for you. I had someone drop out, and you were kind enough to say, yes, I'll be there for you. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Wish you a wonderful day, my friend. Hope you warm up out there. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Simcoe with KiteFishing.com. So long, Mike. Thanks. Appreciate it, Riscala. Thank you, sir. Are we up? Are we are up against a break, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't go away. You are listening to the Fish Florida Show on WDBF Radio. We will be right back. You're listening to the Fish Florida Show with your host, Briskella. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Do you own a laser printer? copier or a fax well then listen close to this announcement laser technologies has been providing high quality frustration free toner cartridges that are guaranteed not to harm your equipment for over 20 years laser technologies will save you on your supplies with high quality and fast delivery savings up to 50 percent Laser Technologies supplies toner, imaging drums, developer and cartridges for most of the major brands. For a price quote, send an email to service at laser-technologies.com. Include your printer make and model for your part number. Call us at 561-792-9600. That's 561-792-9600. Laser Technologies, providing 100% of the quality at a fraction of the price. 561-792-9600. When selling your luxury home, you need someone who understands your expectations, someone familiar with the industry, who can sell your home faster and get you the best price, someone who can provide you with a full-service brokerage firm. That someone is Devin Canhai with Exit Realty. Devin is a veteran who has grown up in South Florida and spent his life in Palm Beach County. With Devin's marketing strategy and his network of contacts, you will be pleased at how quickly, smoothly, and easily your home can be sold. Not sure what your home should sell for? With Devin on your side, you will receive a free evaluation. Call Devin today at 561-281-9138. He's ready to serve your needs and expectations. That's 561-281-9138. Devin Canai with Exit Realty, 561-281-9138. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Roger's Gotcha Motoring. If you need a local auto repair shop, Roger's Gotcha Motoring will take care of all of your automotive repair needs. If you need something as simple as an oil change or as complex as an engine overhaul, I have the latest in technology and the knowledge to get the job done right. We've been servicing Pinellas County since 1994 and are conveniently located at 3700 Fifth Avenue North in St. Petersburg, Florida. If you need service, call now at 727-327-1830 or visit my website at www.rogersgotchamotoring.com or like my Facebook page at Rogers Gotcha Motoring for a complete list of all of our services. So come on over to Rogers, that's me, and get your car service today. And don't forget to shop and support local business. Call now to book your appointment at 727-327-1830. That's 727-327-1830. Or swing on by. It's the Fish Florida Show with your host, Riscola Stevens, bringing the outdoors to you every Sunday morning, 8 to 10 a.m. on the WDBF Radio Network. And now, your host, Riscola Stevens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are suffering from what is known as a cold snap here in South Florida. 
And many of us are, um, <laughs> we, I'm only laughing because <clears throat> went outside this morning and, uh, the thermometer, uh, read at 46 degrees outside the house. Um, I happen to watch, I have a couple of neighbors that walk their dogs first thing in the morning, every morning. Um, if I didn't know any better, you would think that we we're up where my daughter is up in Ohio where it's snowing inches of snow. Uh, it, it's just kind of funny to watch and, and I shouldn't make fun of them because I'm bundled up as well, but <laughs> not as bad as them. I'm, I'm telling you gloves, fur coat, the, the fur thing on the top of the head, um, the really, really long boots. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it looks like prepared for snow. Uh, and, and the dog, the dog, you'd think the dog would have something, right? Nope. Dog just walking right along. <laughs> I get such a kick out of it. Anyway, welcome to the Fish Florida Show, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rascala, your host. Normally, I have my sidekick with me, Devin, but uh, Devin, uh, for those of you who may not know, is an active reservist. That means he's out today uh, doing his part to help protect our country. Thank you, Devin, for your service. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, he will be back next. Uh, kind of miss him. <laughs> uh, he'll be back next Sunday. So uh, that's the reason that uh, Devin is not here this morning. He's out uh, performing his uh, reserve duties. And uh, my next guest, who is going to be Captain Ron Weintraub. Captain Ron has a very unique product, which I totally support, because one of the first things I ask people, if you're going to have a product that you're going to put on your body, is that product safe for children? Because if it's not safe for children, how is it going to be safe for you? I have a couple of friends of mine that sell uh, some some different related products, healthcare products, and um, their products are safe for children, regardless of, of the age of, the, uh, you know, other than a, an infant, um, anything over one year old, these, these children can take this health product. Why? Because it's safe for them. That means if it's safe for them, it's going to be safe for you. Good morning, Captain Ron. Thank you for taking the time to call in. Welcome to the Fish Florida Show. Hey, good morning. How are you? Uh, we're from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Yeah, uh, well, God bless you, sir, and I know you guys, uh, we spoke a little bit. You had some snow up there, didn't you? Uh, yeah, we got way too much snow. We got <laughs> eight inches. It's, it's oh freezing. It, I've been here my whole life, and I have never seen anything like this. It's, this deep freeze is, is this. Well, I can I can honestly tell you this. There's not a fishing report because nobody's crazy enough to go out there and fish when it's <laughs> 17 degrees. So, in, so anyway... Uh, getting back to the product, um, we have a new product. It's a uh, sun beater. It's got an SPF of 40. Um, it's got the skeeter beater in it. It was developed by a doctor for surfers. And you can even swim with this, come out, and still be protected from the bugs. We have candles out now with wooden wicks in them that can be burnt indoors or outdoors or if you've got a gazebo. And... This product, Skeeter Beater, is absolutely 100% safe for children. In fact, our grandson will be one year old on my wife and I's anniversary, which is January the 16th, and it's safe we put it on him. Skeeter Beater is safe we make it for your pets, for the hot spots. Now, February the 3rd through the 11th, we're going to be in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, at the NRA Sportsman Show. And we'd like to invite anybody that's around the area or wants to come up there and see us. We're going to have a booth up there. We're going to have products up there. And please come by and see us. And uh, I'll tell you what, Victoria Brinkley with Fish Florida mobile app and the media partners that we have are some of the best business partners that I've ever dealt with. And she did a, she being, on did your, a fan. being on your show. Being on your show has been a wonderful experience for us, for my wife and I, and all of our media partners, and uh, we think you're doing a fantastic job, and God bless your uh, business partner, him doing his duty. Uh, I, I, myself, I'm also a U.S. vet, and I can appreciate uh, all the veterans and all their service, and we want to wish them well, and and safety and uh, all our police officers and paramedics and because just there's, there's a you know with this with this deep freeze there's a lot of people that's out there that's cold hungry and need help and uh, we're going to try to do and as much as we can to help everybody. Well, thank you, Captain Ryan. I appreciate that. It is a 
<clears throat> it is a sad state of affairs when you have people who go out and defend this country and then come back and have nowhere to turn. Uh, and it's people like you and people like my producer. I was speaking with my producer this morning, people like him who take the time out to share with these vets and let them know that they do have value because many of them come back and feel that they have no value. They feel like their life is down the tube because of what they have experienced. They feel as though they are not worthy to um, have anyone because the government has turned their back on them. And if it weren't for people like you, if it weren't for people like Steve, uh, the producer of the show, who take people out, uh, people like um, Officer Frank, Frank Danish, who works with these vets, yes. who takes the time to let them know you are a valuable individual. This is one of my heartstrings, my friend. I'm a veteran as well, um, and I have friends who didn't come back. <clears throat> and I have friends who did come back, and they're, even though they're here physically, they're not here, if you understand what I'm saying. So for those of you who do this for the veterans, God bless you. Thank you for your service. Yes, and, Thank you for what you do for them. And uh, another thing what we do, too, is um, to let people know uh, – we also host a thing that's called Mobility May. And in May here on the Outer Banks, we take wheelchair veterans offshore and take them fishing every May. Even though they're in wheelchairs, we get, we, we open up, people open up their homes, they open up their restaurants, they feed them, uh, we take them fishing, I get them fishing tackle, I get them rods and reels and tackle, we got uh, these these wonderful uh, business owners that own fishing piers down here, they let them on the pier and fish for free. We take them, and these guys have sacrificed everything. They're in wheelchairs. I mean, they're, yeah. they're, they know they're not going to walk again, but they have got the best attitudes. Of, uh, I just I can't even describe the, the great feeling it gives you when you see them catch a fish or just put a smile on their face. It, 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 really, it, it really gets to... The point that you know it makes you feel proud to be an American. To me, Captain Ron, that is what America is about. It is about Americans reaching out to each other and helping each other. I have always believed this from the time I was a child. My friends used to make fun of me because if I were the one that was driving and I saw a lady had pulled over with a flat tire, we didn't have cell phones back then. The only thing you could do was walk to a pay phone. I would be the one who pulled over. I would be the one who would, who would uh, replace the tire for her, and I would be the one who would refuse to take any money from her because I was doing something that was inherently right within me. Um, when people reach out and help other people, when we come together, that's when – the the sky is the limit per se. So thank you for doing that, Captain Ron. I really appreciate that, Captain Ron. With the Skeeter Beater, you can find him online. Uh, Captain Ron, where can they find you online, sir? You can go to www.obxskeeterbeater.com, or they can contact me directly at two five two four seven five zero two four four. Be glad to answer any questions. Uh, if you want to put it in your store uh, or you just want to get some to try it, um, please feel free to give me a call and uh, go to the Fish Florida mobile app. And to you, uh, I put it on my Facebook page about listening to your show, about it's a great show, and uh, we're going to get through this frozen winter storm <laughs> <laughs> so we can get back to some regular weather. <laughs> All right, my friend. God bless you. I wish you a wonderful day. A happy new year, by the way. And uh, there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. That is Captain Ron Weintraub with the Skeeter Beater up there in the Carolinas. Um, let's see. Next, my I have Chuck coming on. Chuck is a, um, I believe he's a charter fishing captain, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong. I'm wrong about a lot of things. This morning, the, the cold has caused my mind to turn to mush. <laughs> Floridians are not prepared for this stuff, you guys, I'm telling you. So anyway, good morning, Chuck. Welcome to the Fish Florida Show. Good morning. A am I right? Are you a charter <laughs> fishing captain? Yes, sir. I'm a charter fishing captain down in Key West, Florida, where and, and, it might be uh, the warmest place in the state. But I got two pairs of flannel pajamas on. <laughs> How cold is it down there? Uh, we hit the fifties a couple times the last few evenings, which oh, for us is steps, gloves, mittens, flannel that shirts. Uh, a handful of guys have been going out and braving the weather, but uh, I've been staying home. That's t-shirt material. 
Not, not quite t-shirt material. I had to break out clothes I haven't worn in quite some time. So can you tell me, uh, Chuck, how has the weather affected the fishing? I know it sounds like a silly question, but um, so how has the weather affected the fishing down there? Well, a few days before the cold front came through, it got really, really good. The reef has been on fire. with Lots of big kingfish, lots of big cereal mackerel. The yellowtail and the mutton snappers have been snapping really good for us. Um, the grouper were really good up until the first. Now they're all safe. We get to let them all go. But uh, a couple more months, beginning of May, we get to keep them again. But it's been, it's been really good. And it, this cold weather should push more kings, more sails, more tunas, and more cobia down. Now, I, I spoke with several people two weeks ago that were down in the Keys, and they said um, the um, – oh, my mind will lose me now. The what, what, It was a really fast – I can't think of the particular fish. My mind is eluding me. I tell you, the cold has really got to me. Um, Wahoo. They said Wahoo. the Wahoo was, was running really hard. Yes. Uh, is that st- yeah, we had about a week where we had some really good clean water come in just onto the edge of the reef. Um any big trolling lures, run them as fast as you want, and uh, we're having some really, really good wahoo catches. So, Chuck, you said earlier that um, you have your own vessel. What, what's the name of it? Because I didn't catch that. Oh, um, the name of my boat is Tails, Two Sails. Uh, I run a 31-foot yellowfin uh, Hurricane Hole Marina, which is just outside of Key West, Florida. And if people want to reach, if, if people want to reach you, how do they reach you? Well, currently my website is down. Getting, uh, I'm redoing that. But I have a Facebook page, Tales to Sales at Facebook. I think everybody has a Facebook page now. <laughs> uh, or they can call me directly at 305-923-9305. Chuck, how long have you been doing this? Uh, just going on 16 years. My it goodness. Was, so you've uh, had... Closest thing you, I can do a real job without having to have a real job. You've made a couple of laps around the, the track, if, if, if uh, you understand what I'm saying. Yes, sir. So if, if, typically if someone contacts you, do you go after particular fish or, or do they say, look, Chuck, I want to go just after sailfish. I, I want to go just after whatever it is. Can you do that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, depending on certain times of the year, you know, if, if someone wanted to go dolphin fishing right now, I would highly recommend against it. Uh, it's just not the right time of year. Uh-huh. But I kind of get a 50-50 run on that as far as, some people just want to go catch a bunch of fish and have a good time, and some people have that bucket list fish, you know, that they've been searching for. Yeah. And yep. Uh, if, it, if it's the right time of year and the conditions are good, we'll definitely go make a run for it. Wow. So, in your opinion, once we get through this cold snap, what uh, what do you expect once it begins to start warming up again? Oh, I, I think it's going to be great. I think the fishing's going to turn on. Um, as I said, there's been a handful of the guys out of my marina that have been braving this cold weather. They've taken a little bit of a beating, but they've been getting the nice sailfish um, and some of the shallower patch reefs without having to go out into that really rougher water offshore. The lane snappers, the mackerel, have been a lot of action, a lot of high-quality eating fish. Some really nice dinners is what it sounds like. <laughs> um well, I, I like I take my son fishing as often as I can, and he asked me, are we going for snapper sandwiches? Said, yep, get in the boat, boy. Uh, he refers to everything as snapper sandwiches. You know, you mentioned your son. Um, growing up, my dad used to take the whole family fishing a minimum of two times, usually three times a month, and it would be all over the place. Uh, we, I grew up in, in uh, Miami, basically. <clears throat> he would drive us down to the Keys. We would uh, fish off of the um, the bridges. Uh, he would drive us over to Naples. We'd fish over in Naples or um, off of the pier. Uh, it was something that kept the family together, something that, that the family could do as a family unit and have fun at the same time. Um, so it's something that, that I like to bring up, and that is you want to help keep your family together. Find something that all of you can do that is enjoyable for all of you. One of those things is fishing. 
to all of you enjoy, and it's the greatest excitement for a young child to hook into a fish. It could be as big as your finger. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's that excitement and, and the joy that you see in your child's face. Uh, I thank God that my dad took me fishing as a young child. It taught me so much about so many different things. Um, so those of you, I encourage you, take your children fishing. It's a great way for them to experience you and you to experience them. Um, Chuck, I'm, I'm, I'm coming up against a break. I'd like to, before I go, anything that you would like to share with the listeners before you go? Uh, no, but I would like to stand upon what you just said. Take your kids fishing. They don't care. They don't care if it's a 40-pound grouper. They don't care if it's a three-ounce pinfish. They always have fun. And that, that's yeah. probably one of the, the best of my job is getting to watch other people and their kids have a great time. And uh, that, that really is what it's all about. It's all about having a good time and spending time with your family. Amen. Chuck, thank you. Happy New Year to you, by the way. Thanks for calling in this morning. That is Chuck Donnie. You can reach him at area code 305-923-9305. He's a commercial fishing captain uh, out of the Keys. Please feel free to give him a call. If you do call him, please let him know that you heard about him on the show. God bless you, Chuck. We'll be looking forward to speaking with you again, my friend. Thank you very much. You guys have a great New Year. Catch him up. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back. Got to take a break. Please don't go away. You're listening to The Fish Florida Show with Riscala. Excuse me. With Riscala. We'll be right back. You're listening to The Fish Florida Show with your host, Riscala. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Battles aren't won solely on the field. That's a common misconception. Battles are won within. Over enemies of fear. Enemies of doubt. In that place where promises are kept. Promises to oneself. This is a physical training event! Promises to one's community. Healthy people move debris out of their house. Promises to one's country. In the heart of every Marine, you'll find a promise. A promise forever kept. A promise of battles won. You've seen how recent hurricanes have devastated whole communities, flooding and destroying homes. Join Habitat for Humanity as we work with families to repair and rebuild. You can help someone desperately in need of a place to call home. We will rebuild, but only with your help. Visit Habitat.org to support Habitat's work. Hello, I'm Hector Elizondo, and I want to talk to you about getting older. My body hurts, my joints ache, and sometimes I forget. I forget that doing all your own scenes for a movie isn't always the best decision, especially when you're galloping high speed on a horse named Archibello. So yes, my body hurts, but it's not because of my age. It's because I'm living my life. Don't let life pass you by. Take care of your brain health. It may just help you stay on top of your game. Oh, Archibello! Learn more at brainhealth.gov. Hey, y'all, Cedric the Entertainer here with Niecy Nash, taking a break from shooting the Soul Man to introduce you to Patience. Hi. Patience is a patient at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Families never receive a bill from St. Jude for anything because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. St. Jude won't give up until they end childhood cancer, sickle cell, and other deadly diseases. Because of you, there is St. Jude. Learn more at stjude.org. My vehicle was sent six feet in the air in a ball of fire. I thought it was going to die. It uh, ripped my arm off. It broke my right femur. I took such a hard blow to the head that my retina was torn apart. Say a prayer for peace. I'm Trey Adkins. I want to tell you about these true American heroes and how you can show your thanks by helping them through Wounded Warrior Project. They reached out to us as a family. And they never forgot about us. 
The job of helping thousands of our wounded warriors rebuild their lives is massive and growing every day. That's why your gift of just $19 a month is so important. Many of these service members suffer traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder. They helped me basically put my life back together. If it wasn't for a Wounded Warrior Project, I would be a statistic right now. I would have been one of those soldiers who came home and committed suicide. I'm in the fields of Vietnam, the mountains of Afghanistan. Your gift today of $19 a month can help us provide the programs and services desperately needed by our wounded service members. Call or go online with a pledge and you'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. Make that call now. Say a prayer for peace. You're listening to WDBFRadio.com, a tune in station. It's the Fish Florida Show with your host, Riscola Stevens, bringing the outdoors to you every Sunday morning, 8 to 10 a.m. on the WDBF Radio Network. And now, your host, Riscola Stevens. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Freezing, but we are back. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I think I kind of overdramatically uh, <laughs> stated. Uh, anyway, it is the Fish Florida Show. Thank you for taking time to listen in. You can find us on Facebook. Please go to Facebook and find The Fish Florida Show. Give us a like. That helps us stay relevant in searches so other people can find us. We are also on the web, www.fishfloridashow.com. And you can download the app. The app is Fish Florida app. You can find it at any of the stores. It is free, of course. And from the app, you can uh, you can listen into the show. Uh, Some of these guests that are one of the partners with us, uh, you can find their products on that app as well. Um, I want to thank Victoria. Victoria is the creator of all of this. Victoria's uh, husband, as, as, as uh, time went on, she was finding that he was uh, spending a lot of time trying to gather different information uh, for going fishing. And um, before you know it, Victoria in her, her imaginative mind had – come together and put this Fish Florida app together for us. If you don't have the app, please download the app. You'll be amazed. I I was in uh, in a a store the other day, and I was explaining to somebody about the app. They downloaded the app in front of me. Uh, I was doing something else. They came over, tapped me on the shoulder, said, thank you. I can't believe how much information is in this thing. You would be surprised how much we have in that app. So my next guest that I'm looking for is Reed Simmons. I believe he's on the line with me. Reed is with uh, the Rod Stewart. I had mentioned that earlier to you, a very unique way of storing your tackle, your your rods and your reels, without them getting bunched up together or beating each other up. And he's going to tell us a little bit about that. Reed, good morning, sir. Welcome to the Fish Florida Show. Well, good morning. It's not, it's, uh, you don't know what cold is. <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's uh, I just I just checked the temperature. It's twenty seven degrees today. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and I'm not in North Dakota. <laughs> I'm in oh Charleston, South Carolina, so we're not used to having this cold weather. Yeah, this uh, I can't remember who else I had from. Uh, who did I have? Oh, Captain Ron Weintraub from the Carolinas was on this morning, and telling me nobody was foolish enough to go out there and try to fish. So he really didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> didn't have a fishing report per se. Probably the same for you, I'm sure. No, no. I think uh, the only thing that's going on right now is duck hunting. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, yeah. uh, is is we that happening up. there? Oh yeah, yeah. Our duck season's going on right now. Um, so it's so cold you can't fish. So everybody's going duck hunting. I, you know, I've always wondered, I wonder if, that's a silly question, but I wonder, I guess they don't feel the cold like we feel the cold, otherwise they wouldn't be showing up. 
Yeah, I guess they, you know, they like it. How, how cold is it down there right now? Oh, it's warm compared. We're twice what you are. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't, yeah, uh, one, we haven't gone 50. above 40 in about five days. Lord have mercy. Yeah, and well, we have, uh, we got, uh, five inches of snow on the ground still. My goodness. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about the Rod Stewart because I really find this product, um, something that is very, first of all, it's very unique. Uh, second of all, something I wish I had in, in the days that I had my, my boat, because this could really have saved me a lot of grief. The, the Rod Stewart. Tell me a little bit about the Rod Stewart. What does it do? Well, you know, it's, a, it's just a simple, easy, vertical rod storage. And, you know, it holds all your fishing rods. It's easy to move around. Um, you know, you, you can put it in your house. You can put it in your garage, your you know, your boat shed, anywhere you need to uh, store your fishing rods, you know, vertically, instead of just piling them up in the corner like most people do when they get back. They uh-huh. wash them down yep. and they just stick them in the corner of their garage. Yep. Exactly. So this, I mean, this product, it's it's simple, it's easy, uh, you know, it comes in different sizes and whole sizes for the uh, size rods you're using, inshore, offshore. Uh, it's just it's it saves you a lot of a lot of headache because most of the time when you put your rods you know in the corner they get tangled up and so you know it, it keeps them from getting all beat up. I and you know one thing that you said a key word that you said that I have found in the time that I've spent on this planet the best answers to to challenges in this life. The best answers I have found are the simple answers. When you find a simple answer, that is an answer that is usually a resolution permanently to whatever it is that you're dealing with. This is a very simple product. I looked it up several times. It is made out of a foam material. Um, it will not harm uh, your – your because what you do is you stick the handle part down first into this thing. It will not harm your um, your equipment. It will actually – provide cushioning for the rods themselves. It will keep them from banging up against each other. When you're ready to use your rod and your reel, you simply pull it out and you go. You don't have to worry about untangling it from all the other rods and reels that are there. And I think they make them, uh, I've seen them, I think it was six. How many is it, Reed, that, it, that will hold? Yeah, there's, well, you know, if you go on the website, there's different sizes. Um, and there's different hole sizes for what, you know, if you use an offshore rods or whatever. But, um uh-huh. You know, some people like to be able to just to walk up there and pull pull one rod out. But some people like there's different hole sizes. So if you put your rods in there, you can carry, you know, you can carry eight, ten, twelve rods at one time to your boat. So, um, you know, that's a big advantage rather than just trying to, you know, trying to carry a whole pile of them in your hand. So, right. Yeah. So it makes it convenient. You, um, to I, don't store, convenient I don't know who's to carry. down in that area, but. Um, you haven't seen one yet. You just saw it on the website. That's correct. Yeah, I've only seen pictures of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we do a lot of, uh, you know, we do a lot of the fishing shows. You know, like you know, convention centers and places like that. Uh, and that's, I mean, that's basically, basically how we got started doing all of that. Uh, we don't have any in the big box stores. We do mostly mom and pop um, places. Um, that kind of works out better for us because we can keep control of what's going on. I am a 100% supporter of small businesses. Anytime you can support a small business, that's what this country was built on, the backs of small businesses. It wasn't built on the backs of these big corporations who have dozens of lawyers who figure out how to get out of paying the rightful part of being <laughs> here uh, with the rest of us. It, it's on the backs of the small businesses who pay their part in what we call taxes and revenues in order for us to have what we have. So if you at any time can support a small business, you're helping support a family. You're helping support a father and a mother, maybe putting their child through school, maybe buying whatever it is, football, baseball, whatever that might be. You're helping that family. Not only are you helping the company, but you're helping that family. When you're helping one of these big corporations, these global corporations, and you spend a dollar with them, I think it's 40 cents of that dollar stays here. When you work with a, a family with a small local business, over 60 cents of that stays in the local area. Any time that you can do business with a small business, I highly recommend that. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, all these big stores are 
you know, you don't, all the mom and pop places are going away. It's just, uh, yeah. It, you know, it's a shame that it's happening, but, um, you know, it's been going on. Um, so we, you know, it's, these are, you know, they're made in South Carolina. Um, and, you know, we try to, we just, we try to sell just to all the small places. Mm-hmm. Support so small business, my friend. I'm 100%. Yeah, you know, and it's, it's, yeah, that's been, and it's been working out for us pretty well. Um, you know, you get to know your customers, you mm-hmm. know. It's not like you're just selling to a warehouse and you don't know where they're going, so. Yeah. All right, Reed, anyway, thank you so much for calling in this morning. Reed Simmons, he is with the Rod Stewart, not Rod Stewart, the singer, Rod, R-O-D, <laughs> Stewart, S-T-E-W-A-R-D, Rod Stewart. You can find him online. Uh, Reed, have you got a website? Yeah, it's uh, rodstewart.net. Rodstewart.net. So uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I'm Rod getting Stewart a little bit net. of delay, so inadvertently I'm speaking over you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I, there's a little bit of a delay, so inadvertently we're speaking over each other. I apologize. Uh, okay. No problem. R- uh, if Reed, you, uh, if but, you go to... Just go to rodstewart.net, and um, if you don't see what you like, you can call in to customer service, and they'll make anything you want. I like that. All right. I appreciate you having me on. Uh, thank you, Reed. Stay warm out there, my friend. God bless you. Look forward to having you again sometime in the future. Happy New Year, by the way. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much. All right. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. That is Reed Simmons with the Rod Steward. And uh, my next guest, Dennis. Dennis is a local. Dennis is a personal friend. Uh, Dennis is one of the reasons that this show exists, believe it or not, because it is Dennis's better half, as they were referred to, and she is a better half, uh, who came up with all of this. Uh, it was Victoria who put her imaginative mind together and came up with all of this. Dennis, good morning, and uh, welcome to the Fish Florida Show. Good morning, Rascal. How are you? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm bundled up and warm, my friend. I also have two layers on. <laughs> so uh, I know uh, it's you're suffering from the same thing I'm suffering from with regard to the weather. Is there anything happening out there? Um, those who have braved the seas, um, you know, the sales fish are out there. Uh, I've heard occasional wahoo. Um, but when it's not raining and you're on a smaller boat and you have your rain gear on, that's not a good sign. That's because mm. the spray and everything else is coming over the boat, and there's no rain in sight. Uh, so, yeah, but yeah, at yeah. that time, if you have a smaller boat, you can always think of alternatives. Um, like I do, I don't have a big forty-six, you know, footer, and I can go out and seize. Um, so, I want to talk about a couple things. Um, you can go to your local piers, um, even the inlet over by us. We we're out there and. Um, they were fishing, they were catching some grunts and some jacks and some small sharks, even in the high seas. Um, so that's a, you know, an, a, a valid plan B. Um, a lot of times we'll get on the boat and we'll, we'll go uh, over by the inlet and we'll drift the structure where the inlet's made and, uh, we'll use silver sides and small light tackle, a little jig and a silver side on. And we'll just drift and uh, drift for some snappers. Um, so that's another thing to do. Um, and also, believe it or not, um, I had friends who ran down to Miami um, at night, and they were doing a lot of tarpon fishing uh, underneath the bridges and things. Mm-hmm. So uh, they were getting hookups. Uh, they had a blast. Um, and also, you know what? No one talks about Florida shrimp. You know, you beat me to it. <laughs> but last week, the shrimp were on fire down in Miami, mm. um, down around the causeways. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and Florida shrimping for the, you know, for the normal person, it could be done and it produces a lot of, uh, a lot of food for the table. You aren't kidding. I, when I lived in Miami and I had a boat at the time, we would go shrimping under the causeways like you're talking about, and it was not uncommon to spend uh, two or three hours, come back with uh, 15, 20 pounds, 30 pounds of shrimp, just depending on the night. Yeah, last week, uh, even though the commercial guys were out there, and they're about 
probably, they were up there about an hour, hour and a half, and they were limited out. Wow. Uh, the shrimping yeah. was just fantastic last week down at the causeways. Unbelievable. And also well, the Dennis, surfing bike was on. I'm up against a break, Dennis. I want to thank you for taking the time to call in. I want you to come back on, give me some fishing reports, and um, we'll do that probably next week again. Wish you a wonderful day. Happy New Year to you. Thanks for taking the time to call in. Uh, anything else you want to say before you go? Um, just go and download the app. Um, you'll have a lot of information and a lot of fun with it. Yeah, unquestionably. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back. You're listening to the Fish Florida Show with Riscala. Don't go away. You're listening to the Fish Florida Show with your host, Briscella. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Do you own a laser printer, copier, or a fax? Well then, listen close to this announcement. Laser Technologies has been providing high-quality, frustration-free toner cartridges that are guaranteed not to harm your equipment for over 20 years. Laser Technologies will save you on your supplies with high quality and fast delivery. Savings up to 50%. Laser Technologies supplies toner, imaging drums, developer and cartridges for most of the major brands. For a price quote, send an email to service at laser-technologies.com. Include your printer make and model for your part number. Call us at 561-792-9600. That's 561-792-9600. Laser Technologies, providing 100% of the quality at a fraction of the price. 561-792-9600. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Roger's Gotcha Motoring. If you need a local auto repair shop, Roger's Got Your Motoring will take care of all of your automotive repair needs. If you need something as simple as an oil change or as complex as an engine overhaul, I have the latest in technology and the knowledge to get the job done right. We've been servicing Pinellas County since 1994 and are conveniently located at 3700 Fifth Avenue North in St. Petersburg, Florida. If you need service, call now at 727-327-1830 or visit my website at www.rogersgotchamotoring.com or like my Facebook page at Rogers Got Your Motoring for a complete list of all of our services. So come on over to Rogers, that's me, and get your car service today. And don't forget to shop and support local business. Call now to book your appointment at 727-327-1830. That's 727-327-1830, or swing on by. K-Pasa Mexican Cantina is where friends and neighbors come to connect, share, and celebrate one another in a festive, casual atmosphere. Offering rich, robust flavors of authentic Mexican cuisine, we use only the freshest, finest ingredients. We chop and dice, season and blend, and then cook everything we serve to perfection. One thing that makes Mexican food even better is one of our delicious Best of the Bay margaritas. Our signature series of margarita flavors range from our sweet and fruity mango and strawberry to our hot and juicy jalapeno margarita. Having a busy meeting, or getting together and looking for Mexican food? Try our Fast Facts form. It's an easy, fast way to order your favorite Mexican food. We have special platters and layouts for any occasion. The form is super easy to fill out. Fax, email, or just call it in. Whether it's here in the restaurant, in your home or office, at k Pasa, we celebrate bringing people together. k Pasa Mexican Cantina, 10478 Roosevelt Boulevard, North Street, in the Gateway Shopping Center, 727-330-3663 in St. Petersburg. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Hey, this is Captain Hook for Statewide Pest Control Services. They've been serving the west coast of Florida since 1987. Statewide does it all. Pest control, termites, lawns, mosquitoes, tent fumigations, etc. This announcement is from their mold division. 
Since Hurricane Charlie in 2004, all their personnel are certified in mold and moisture control. Their two-step services are guaranteed to get you back in your home quicker and, in most cases, paid by your insurance company. Give them a call at 877-488-7378. That's statewide pest control services for all your pest and mold control needs. Serving Florida from Pasco to Lee Counties. Statewide Pest Control Services, 877-488-7378. 877-488-7378. That's 877-488-7378. You're listening to WDBFRadio.com, a tune-in station. It's the Fish Florida Show with your host, Riscola Stevens, bringing the outdoors to you every Sunday morning, 8 to 10 a.m. on the WDBF Radio Network. And now, your host, Riscola Stevens. Good chilly morning, everybody. (laughs) It is the Fish Florida Show. I am Riscola, your host, and it is an honor and a privilege to be with you. If you haven't been listening and you're just tuning in, we have had a wide variety of uh, guests on this morning. And uh, if you are just now catching up to us, you can always listen to the archive to see what you have missed. And if there's a product that you would like featured on our show, you can always reach me at me, M-E, at Riscala Stevens, R-I-S-C-A-L-L-A-S-T-E-V-E-N-S dot com, me at Riscala Stevens dot com. I'd be happy to discuss that with you, and uh, we can you know, come to terms. We can help you out and uh, you can help us out. It's all about benefiting on both sides of the aisle. I want to thank uh, the Fish Florida app because without the Fish Florida app, we would not have the Fish Florida show. And uh, without the Fish Florida show, you would not have me. So just think about that for a minute. Whoa, that might not be the right thing to say. They might make some people mad out there. They're, you never know who your lovers are and who your haters are. <laughs> anyway, so those of you who are here in South Florida with me and are um, – Enjoying this wonderful weather, uh, right now I think we're up into the 50s. We have, uh, in comparison to some of the other places that I've spoke with this morning, we have double uh, their temperatures. Just spoke with somebody from uh, the Carolinas, and they were in the 20s, the upper 20s there. So thank God for the upper 50s for us here in South Florida. My next guest is uh, Mike Bird. Mike has another very unique product that I think is really <laughs> very intriguing. You know, again, I said earlier, some of the challenges that we run into in life, when you find a simple answer, a simple product that will answer whatever that challenge is, that's going to be, in, in my experience, that's going to be the resolution permanently for whatever that is. So I want to bring Mike Bird on. Mike is with Bob Light Bobbers. Mike, good morning. Uh, Mark, I apologize. Mark. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. That, that cold is getting to me. I can't read whether it's Mike or Mark. I apologize. It is Mark Bird with Bob Light Bobbers. Yes, Mark Bird, yes. So tell us a little bit about this bobber. Uh, what it is is a nighttime fishing bobber that actually illuminates the water at night. Uh, it attracts all types of bait fish towards your bait. And whether you're fishing underneath the light or outside of the light, uh, it just attracts the bigger fish. Our yellow bobber actually is the brightest. Um, it will definitely make a huge difference in your fishing. Uh, we just had a lady the other day post that uh, she caught a 36-pound catfish. Uh, and Bob Light, she's going to use nothing else but Bob Light because it just attracts the fish. The green actually um, is great for speckled trout, uh, all of your top water basically, because what it will do is it will take a chartreuse bait and it will turn it into a glow stick. And it, wow. Once it hits that light, it just turns colors and speckled trout are nailing it. Uh, in the meantime, we had also developed the first and only lighted net. Uh, this net is the brightest LEDs possible all the way around the rim. Uh, this, once you just place it down into the water, your bait comes up to you, scoop up your bait. You don't ever have to pay for bait again. Um, but it also has 
the capability of one, once you land the fish, the fish is going to swim towards the light. So basically it nets itself. So, uh, we have a, we have a meeting with Bass Pro in February and, uh, look forward to being on their shelves this year. So wow. it's going to be an exciting year for Bob Light. You know, I said earlier that the, I have found in my experience the simple answers are the best answers. And you said something a moment ago. You know, I, I looked at the product. I, I didn't realize when I looked at the product. I didn't catch it until you said it a moment ago. There are different color lights that go with this? Yes, yes. Uh, we have a green and a yellow. Uh, right, then we're also going to be coming out with an orange because of the orange hint Every so often I get a uh, customer asking for the orange. We're, we're definitely trying to get up to the numbers where we're able to make several different colors. But, yes, uh, what the light actually points down into the water, and it's, it just illuminates everything. That, where were you when I was shrimping, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I've been there, told that. Uh, and it, also it, people with uh, when they're going crabbing. Um, now you don't have to have a, a net and a flashlight to go and look for the crabs. You just take your net. It's wow. extremely bright. Yeah. Wow. You have a, an entire market available to you down in Miami. I don't know. I don't know about other places, but I can tell you from personal experience, that product would be a slam dunk in Miami. Yeah, we uh we're actually located in some small shops uh from Mobile to, all the way down to Naples actually. Wow. So uh, we have a couple of retail locations that we've been, you know, for the last past year, I guess. And uh sales are going well. So uh, th- let let me go back to the, the lighted bobber for a minute. How big is this thing? Uh it's just a basic normal bobber. It's about is normal bobber size. It's oh, really? not it's not baseball I, size. It's probably, it's golf ball size. You know, a little bit bigger than that. And I, I take it, it's, of course, it's battery operated. Yes, um, it's it has what we in our packaging. We give you two sets of batteries because I don't want you to get out there in your light go dim and not have another set. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's two two watch batteries. Simply put, install the watch batteries into the light circuit itself and drop it down in the bobber. Twist the top. Once you twist that top, the light comes on and stays on. And so, so once when you're, you're done with it, you, simply you just twist it. So when you're done with it, you just unscrew it and it goes off. Yes, sir. Put it back in your tackle box. I like the It'll idea that you have different colors. I think that's really great. Yeah. 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 Because I know in my um, in my shrimping days, uh, it seemed to me that the uh, like kind of a yellowish tint, not a really, uh, that's not a good way to describe it. A bright light, but not white, white, white light, um, would be a good attractor for the fish in, in, in excuse me, for the shrimp when we were shrimping. Uh, a lot of guys would take those, um, gas lanterns, the ones that you pump up, you know what I'm talking about? Hang them out, oh, yeah, which sure. I thought was very dangerous. We, we, we never did that, but they'd hang them out over the boat and uh, they'd be, the boat would just be kind of moving with the, with the current through the causeways there, through the bridges, and uh, be shrimping like that. Um, very dangerous. To me, it was very dangerous because these guys have these, literally, these miniature bombs waiting to blow up. Because if it hits something, uh, if and oh, they, yeah. they, they, it's like a parking lot sometimes out there. I'm not kidding you. If it hits something, you're going to have a major problem. You have something like what you're talking about, there's no, no chance of a fire for, uh, uh, happening with the product itself. Um, that's great. I, I think that's a phenomenal product. I wish I really wish I had it years ago when I was doing that stuff. Um, Mark, if they want to find your product, is it available online? Oh, absolutely. It's at bob-light.com. Bob-light, L-I-G-H-T? Yes, sir. Dot com. Uh, we're, also Bob? On, we're also on Facebook and Twitter. And it's the same thing on Facebook, Bob Light? Uh, it's, it's at Fishing Bob Light on Facebook and Twitter. Okay. So it's bob-light.com. You can find them online. Mark Bird, thank you for taking the time to call in. Happy New Year to you, my friend. We'll look forward to having you in the future if you'd like to come back. Um, oh, I don't absolutely. know where, what part of, uh, what part of the states are you in? I don't even know where you're at. We are actually in Mobile. 
Um, but we have some ties down in Naples. We uh, have our manufacturer down in Naples. So we travel down there quite often, and uh, we'll definitely stop by when we're in the area. Well, we appreciate that. God bless you, my friend. Mark Bird with Bob Light Bobbers. A wonderful weekend to you. What's left of it? Stay warm. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. You too. All right, there it goes, ladies and gentlemen. We have um, Mark Bird with Bob Light Bobbers. I can't imagine what it would be like to have uh, uh, a net when you're at night. You know, I, I don't know how many of you have been out there. Like, I've been out on the ocean at night, and it seemed like no matter what I had, it, it, I had a, uh, I don't remember, it was a thousand candlelight uh, spotlight. This thing was so bright that you could bring it, I could plug it into my car and shoot it at the lights, the street lights. It was so bright it could put the street light out. I take that out on a boat with me and point it in the water. You, it, it, it's like the water absorbs the light with these old fashioned kind of lights. When you have the LEDs, it's a different kind of light and, and it doesn't seem to be, uh, the water doesn't seem to absorb it as easily as it does with these old fashioned kind of lights that, uh, that utilize a, a, a filament kind of thing. Um, spent a lot of money on, on trying to light things up at night. It was very difficult. I love fishing at night because, of course, it's nice and cool, especially when it's calm. I've been out on the ocean uh, seven, eight, nine miles offshore, and it's li- literally like a puddle. Uh, full moon in the background. Um, fishing at night is, oh, it's just, it's, it's something that, that brings about a peace that is, it's, it's a little different than the day. The day you got to deal with the heat. A lot of times you got to deal with uh, a little rougher water. Uh, in, in a wide variety of other things. At night, it's, it's a more calming thing to me, and uh, it's just a completely different experience. So it's something that, uh, something that I look forward to, something that I would encourage you if you have the opportunity. Dennis, who was on a little earlier, mentioned something about, okay, it, it may be a little too rough for you if you've got a boat right now. Uh, there are places along the shore that you can go. You can go fishing. One of them is uh, out there at the Boynton, what we call the Boynton Inlet. There's a, a, a pier out there at the fishing uh, for fishing people. There's also a Lake Worth. There's a Lake Worth Pier. Uh, the, of course, this is all local here to the South Florida area. Um, there's the Juno Pier. You can go to the Juno Pier and go fishing up there. Um, you don't have to deal with cleaning the boat. <clears throat> Those of you who have boats know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you don't have to deal with fueling them. You just go out and grab your rod. And if you've got a rod steward, hey, you don't even have to worry about untangling any of your equipment. Just grab your rods and go and ha- and enjoy. Enjoy the time. Um, of course, days like today, you may have to bundle up a little bit, but I think it's warming up out there. We're probably up into the 60s at this point because I feel that uh, my little office here is beginning to warm up, and I don't have the heater on, so I can tell that it is beginning to warm up out there. It doesn't take us long in South Florida, thank goodness, to uh, get to a comfortable um, a comfortable level. Um, and fortunately, the really cold days, we don't suffer many of them. Uh, it's It's few and far between, and I think that's why so many of us stay here. Uh, it's because of the wonderful weather and the opportunities that we have to go outside. One of the things, uh, you know, I'll share this with you real quick. One of the things I had um, happen to me, and, and I and I hope and pray this never happens to any of you. That's why I'm going to share it with you real quick. It's just kind of off subject. I decided that I was going to change carriers this last week, uh, cell phone carriers. I went from one to another. Please be careful. When you decide to make a decision like that, please be careful because you've got to have everything, all your dots, all your, all your I's dotted and all your T's crossed because I didn't and it, it created havoc for me. I never realized how quickly you can, uh, be cut off from all of your contacts if you don't have everything in place. I switched providers. Uh, the new provider didn't have, uh, certain benefits like the old provider did. Lost my contacts. I lost Oh my goodness. It, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I finally got everything back. It took a lot of work. It was, you know, I, I work on computers. Maybe you don't know that. I built my first computer in 85, so I know a little bit about computers. I don't know spit about this technology, and it took me hours and hours and hours. So if you're going to switch cell phone carriers, please make sure you have all your I's dotted, all your T's crossed. Otherwise, you may be in for a real, real nightmare. You won't have time to go fishing, and that's what we like to do. We want to be able to give you um, the opportunity to do stuff outside and enjoy yourself. So don't make the mistake I did. Make sure you have all your uh, your <laughs> eyes dotted and all your T's crossed. All right, we're going to take a quick break a little early. Um, we're looking for Adam. I, I, he may be tied up. He did tell me that uh, Adam is from Tuppence Marine. It's a uh, a local marine and a tackle marine store. And uh, I believe they sell uh, boats there as well. 
uh, I was asking him to call in with a fishing report, and he said he may go out fishing. He may he may be out there. He may just not be able to call in from where he's at. But he said that very possibly I may be offshore uh, fishing. So if he's one of those that has decided to brave the elements and go out there and um, wet that line, God bless him. Anyway, we're going to get just a quick break. We'll be right back. Don't go away. And uh, you're listening to the Fish Florida Show with Riscala. You're listening to the Fish Florida Show with your host, Briskella. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Do you own a laser printer, copier, or a fax? Well then, listen close to this announcement. Laser Technologies has been providing high-quality, frustration-free toner cartridges that are guaranteed not to harm your equipment for over 20 years. Laser Technologies will save you on your supplies with high quality and fast delivery. Savings up to 50%. Laser Technologies supplies toner, imaging drums, developer and cartridges for most of the major brands. For a price quote, send an email to service at laser-technologies.com. Include your printer make and model for your part number. Call us at 561-792-9600. That's 561-792-9600. Laser Technologies, providing 100% of the quality at a fraction of the price. 561-792-9600. When selling your luxury home, you need someone who understands your expectations, someone familiar with the industry who can sell your home faster and get you the best price. Someone who can provide you with a full-service brokerage firm. That someone is Devin Canhai with Exit Realty. Devin is a veteran who has grown up in South Florida and spent his life in Palm Beach County. With Devin's marketing strategy and his network of contacts, you will be pleased at how quickly, smoothly, and easily your home can be sold. Not sure what your home should sell for? With Devin on your side, you will receive a free evaluation. Call Devin today at 561-281-9138. He's ready to serve your needs and expectations. That's 561-281-9138. Devin Canai with Exit Realty. 561-281-9138. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Roger's Got Your Motoring. If you need a local auto repair shop, Roger's Got Your Motoring will take care of all of your automotive repair needs. If you need something as simple as an oil change or as complex as an engine overhaul, I have the latest in technology and the knowledge to get the job done right. We've been servicing Pinellas County since 1994 and are conveniently located at 3700 Fifth Avenue North in St. Petersburg, Florida. If you need service, call now at 727-327-1830 or visit my website at www.rogersgotchamotoring.com or like my Facebook page at Rogers Got Your Motoring for a complete list of all of our services. So come on over to Rogers, that's me, and get your car service today. And don't forget to shop and support local business. Call now to book your appointment at 727-327-1830. That's 727-327-1830, or swing on by. You're listening to WDBFRadio.com, a tune-in station. It's the Fish Florida Show with your host, Riscola Stevens, bringing the outdoors to you every Sunday morning, 8 to 10 a.m. on the WDBF Radio Network. And now, your host, Riscola Stevens. It is a brisk and cool morning, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, your host is bundled up. And uh, But I don't have the heater on. I'm proud to tell you that I don't have the heater on. I am uh, working my way through it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, welcome to the Fish Florida Show. If you're just tuning in, my my name is, I don't know what I'm doing this morning. I tell you, the cold has really got to me this morning. I am your host, Chris Kala. I normally have my sidekick, Devin, with me. Devin is not here this morning. 
because Devin is an active reservist. He is out there performing his duties as a uh, individual who works to protect our country. Thank you for your service, Devin. Um, not only is he that, but he is, of course, a realtor, the one that you had just heard about on um, the air. So any time that you can uh, support our veterans, please do so. We we totally uh, we totally support that as well. Anyway, <clears throat> I tell you, the cold has really got to me this morning. I, when I woke up this morning and I saw that lady walking down the street, all dressed up like that, that I really got a kick out of that. But then I I realized that you know what, I, I'm just not fit for that. That's why I'm not. I, I spent some time in Denver many many years ago when I was in the Air Force. It's beautiful. Denver is gorgeous. But I could not take the cold. Lord have mercy. I just could not take the cold. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful that it's 60-some-odd um, degrees out there. And uh, bear with me a minute. I'm getting a – okay. Let's see if that makes any difference. Um, anyway, uh, it's 60-some-odd degrees, which is a heck of a lot warmer than it is in a lot of other places around the United States. Um, anyway, good morning to – I don't know if I have Kyle or Andy, but I know I have one of the Sequoia brothers. So good morning. <laughs> Whichever one I have, good morning. Good morning, Riscal. It's Andy Sakura. How are you this morning? I am doing well, my friend. Do you just out of curiosity, do you and Kyle share the same number? Um, this, we have one cell number that we use for the work uh, phone, and then we have other cell, you know, other cell phones. But basically, we we've, we've gone mobile, and so we have our business phone is a cell phone because we take calls, but a lot of people text us, so. Yeah, we decided yeah. early on that it would be easier just to have a, cell, a work cell number, and mm-hmm. uh, we get a lot of people that we never even talk to that they just send us messages. Well, I, I don't know if you heard what I shared earlier. If you ever decide to make a change in your cell phone service, please make sure everything is prepared ahead of time. I went through a heck of a challenge this week. It really drove me crazy. I wasn't able to contact people. People were not able to contact me. I, you know, it, it's scary when I think about it. As long as I've been on this planet, when I grew up, uh, my whole activity as as a young child, as a young teen, as a young adult was basically outside enjoying the outside activities and things that were going on out there. Now I find myself surrounded by technology, and if any part of that technology breaks down, Lord have mercy, um, you got to be prepared for that kind of stuff. I, I work on computers. I constantly tell people, be prepared. If you have a hard drive in your computer, the old kind of hard drives, which there's still a, a million of them out there at least, um, be prepared. It's going to come a time when that hard drive dies. Make sure you got a backup. I always tell people that as a, as a computer technician. For myself, I thought I was backed up. And because I didn't know the technology I was dealing with, I created a nightmare for myself. So just something to share with you guys out there, something that really can mess you up big time, I'll tell you. Anyway, let's talk about something a little more positive. I know that um, you are with Dockside Services, and, and just if you want to hear something funny, last week I had Jason on, and he's down in the Keys. I don't know how I got him and you confused, but I'm introducing Jason and telling people how Jason is going to come. <laughs> he's going to come out to your place and fuel your vessel for you. How do you like that? Well, I hope you did okay. <laughs> but yeah, we're do- we're dockside we're dockside fuel, and and that's what we do. We fuel boats uh, down here in the Keys for the most part. Um, both diesel and gasoline. Rec ninety is all we put, all we provide the non ethanol Rec ninety fuel. Um, but we're the, we're the place to get fuel, dockside fuel. That's it's the place that comes to you to get fuel. <laughs> And, and, yes, and it's not just for vessels. I, I was surprised. Uh, there's a lot of people down there on generators that uh, that need fuel as well. So they can help you with that. Uh, so it's not just vessels. If you've got a generator, they can come and help you with your generator. Um, if it's the reasonable time in the day for your request, usually they can make it within a reasonable amount of time to you. Um, and they've been doing it for years. Uh, what else can I tell you about them? They're easy to reach. Um are you on the on the web? I don't recall. We, we are on the web, dockside-fuel.com. is our website. You can actually schedule appointments for fueling right through the website. We also have a Facebook page, Dockside Fuel Services, on uh, on Facebook. So like us there and follow all. And keep up to date on where our trucks are. And they're easy to, easy to reach. They're easy to deal with. Uh, they are, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm mistaken, Andy. They're competitively priced on the on the price of the fuel. Yes, we're competitively priced. We're for the most part priced less than all marinas. We come to you. You don't have to take the boat anywhere. Just give us a call or text, email us, 
and we'll come to your house, fill up your boat, and you'll be on your way. Very easy service. I think that, you know, you couldn't make it a whole lot easier than that. My goodness. The only way I could, I could see it any easier than that would be in the Star Trek days. We'll just beam your boat over, have it filled up, and then we'll beam your boat back. That's the only way easier I can see than having someone come out, fuel your vessel up for you, have a competitively priced, <laughs> competitively priced fuel, high grade, and you don't have to Fuel your boat yourself. You don't have to drive your boat somewhere. If you're one of those that has uh, of the larger vessels that have to be trailered, you know the nightmare it is to have to trailer that thing. Um, all of that out of the way, they come to you and take care of it for you. You know that's wonderful. I wish you guys were around many years ago when I had my when I had mine. It would have saved me a lot of trouble. Well, thank you very much. And I'd also like to add we we run a we run our fuel through a filter. We, run, we have a five micron filter water separator. On most boats, they have a 10 micron, so we're filtering it cleaner than what your what your own boat is filtering, and we are making sure we're giving you clean gas because that's an important thing. We want to make sure everybody gets good good gas. Absolutely. Well, have, can you tell me anything about fishing? Of course, it's, you know I know it's cold, but can you tell me anything about fishing? Well, you know what the cold front, of course, slowed everybody down here. We uh, the last couple of days been fueling people up. I think the wind is uh, forecast to go down, but. Uh, it seems as though what we're fueling people up for in the next few days is sailfish and swordfish. That's where they're going. So I can only assume that's what that's what we'll be bringing in the next few days. The wind has been right for, to bring the sailfish down to the Keys. So uh, wow. everybody should be getting out there, fueling up, but getting out there fishing. And I think on the on the reefs, the yellowtail. For the people that snuck out the last few days, we've we got a, a couple of reports on people we fueled. Um, you know, everybody was staying close in on the close in. Uh, reefs only because of the wind was blowing so much, but they're definitely catching yellowtail out there. And with regard to the in inland waters, anything going on backwater stuff like that? You know, quite honestly, we don't get too many uh, backcountry reports. We're for the most part we're, we're fueling um, you know boats that are a little bit bigger. We don't do many flats boats only because the the fuel tanks are small; they don't burn mm-hmm. as much gas. So we do very 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 little backcountry. Um, you know, we're, we're fueling the bigger, bigger boats and everybody for the most part is out there fishing or diving. So we hear a lot about that, not so much about the back country. So I, I really have no, haven't heard of any back country reports of, of recent. Now you, you just said something that tickled my ear. Is there a minimum purchase that people uh, are required to make using your service? Yeah, we, we have a 50 gallon minimum. Um, we're the lowest in the key is the lowest minimum. Most of the people are 100 gallons, 150 gallons, which takes a pretty big boat to need 150 gallons of fuel. So mm-hmm. what, when we started this business, we really wanted to uh, address all of the people that couldn't have fuel delivery, that had a boat in the, you know, in the 20s, mid 20s to low 30 foot boat that didn't use it, didn't have a big enough fuel tank that they could call it just anybody. So we're, we're the, the lowest fuel minimum around and uh, it's helped our business a lot getting customers and you've been around for a while that that helps a lot as well you're not somebody that just uh started a couple of months ago they've been around for a couple of years yeah we've been around for two years and uh, the the company has grown you know dramatically every month we're growing but we've got a a good customer base but we're always looking for more customers We, we have we've got the time and the availability to uh to, to address anybody that calls us. And and that is a unique service. I Just out of curiosity, do you have competition down there? Is there anybody else that does what you do? Well, I hate to say there is, but yes, there is competition. We, there's a couple companies down here in the Keys, and then there's some people that come down from Miami. And the Miami guys have higher minimums, but more importantly, they're down here very less frequently. So they're, you know, they can schedule the day that they're down here. We, we're pretty much here every day to address customers anytime they need fuel. But there's a couple companies that are competition, yes. But they're they're not in they're not local competition. They're coming from out of the area. There, there's a bunch there's a bunch of guys that come down from Miami. But there's a couple companies here, uh, and, and we're competitively priced. We try and be cheaper than everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. that's our. And that's one of the things we're trying to do is we're priced a little bit cheaper than than the competition. But, um, you know, it's it's tricky catching up on everybody's prices. <laughs> so it's dock-side, is that correct? 
No, it's dockside-fuel.com. Okay, dockside-fuel.com. Dockside Services is the name of the company, correct? Dockside Fuel Services, and our phone number is 305-923-6509. Call or text. We do accept text messages. It's a cell phone, and uh, we'll get you we'll get you fueled up as quick as we can. Um, any, are you physically seeing anybody fishing today? Um, physically, I'm sitting inside. It's too darn cold out there right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I know that we fueled yesterday. We worked all day yesterday, fueled a lot of boats, and, and the bulk of them were planning on going out either today or tomorrow. But a bunch of people were going out today, so there should be some fish being caught. Is, is it settling down, or is the wind still kicking? No, the wind has settled down today. Um, actually, it started laying down a little bit yesterday. It um, wasn't quite as windy. Still, still chilly. You know, there's, there's still a bit of a bite in the uh, in the air, but uh, the wind has definitely settled down. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day here. And uh, like I said, and we we spent we worked all day yesterday fueling people, and the bulk of them were going out today. Is it? Um, I, I guess the front has completely gone through. Cause is it sunshiny down there? Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful here. Sunshine, a mm-hmm. couple of puffy clouds out there, but but sunshine and warming up nicely it's the, the i think we're over 60 at this point oh my goodness wow well i appreciate what you do my friend thank you for taking the time to call in that is andy sakura he is with dockside fuel services you can find him online uh you can also find you're on facebook as well right yes dockside fuel service on facebook as well follow us like us uh we'll keep you updated on what, what we're doing and where the trucks are we try and put that on there and the phone number, the phone number that I uh, used to call you, can I, can I give that number out? Yes. That's 305-923-6509. These are people that will come to you and deliver fuel. If you're down there in the Keys, particularly in the uh, – where is it? For, you're located in uh, Largo or, or – Yeah, we're, we're based in Key Largo, and, uh, and, of course, we can get to people a little bit quicker in Key Largo than we can for Key West because Key West is a little bit of a drive, so we schedule yeah. that. We're a little bit more – careful in our scheduling for Key West or Big Pine, but we're down there frequently. If it makes you feel any better, it's still 44 on the other side of the state near Tampa. My producer just said it's 44 here. (laughs) 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 Well, you know, what can I tell you? That's why we're the further south that we are, the happier that we are. (laughs) That is Andy Secor, ladies and gentlemen, with Dockside Fuel Services. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. A happy new year to you. Looking forward to having you back on in the future, my friend. Thank you. Happy New Year. We appreciate we appreciate you having us on too. Thank you. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. We were looking for um, uh, Tim Ortego. Tim is with uh, a uh, living uh, let's see, it's Louisiana Living Adventures. I believe he is uh, someone to do uh, with the different activities in Louisiana regarding hunting. He also told me that he may be having an issue this morning. Um, he did confirm, but uh, we're still waiting for him to show up. So hopefully he'll be here in a few minutes. In the meantime, let me share with you that you can always find us on Facebook. That's the Fish Florida Show on Facebook. Please give us a like. It does make us relevant. It helps us to become more popular when people look for us. And in turn, it benefits us. And we benefit you by giving you all of this information that I don't think you can just find anywhere. Um the bob light bobber I thought was very interesting. The landing net I thought was very interesting. The ability, I, I, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of ignorant, but I didn't realize there were people that would come to you to fuel your, your boat for you. The rod steward, uh, if I had something like that, you know, a product that you could store your rods and reels in, you know, I, like uh, Reed had described, I used to put them all in the corner. How many of us do that? You stick your rods and reels in the corner, then you get ready to use them, and it's a 15 or 20 minute ordeal along with uh, the temperature rising, if you know what I'm talking about, trying to get everything untangled. Uh, all of these products are not, you know, I, I, typically you don't hear about them just anywhere. It's places like this where you hear about it. Kite fishing. I, I love the idea of kite fishing. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. I always thought that um, kite fishing was something that had, the boat had to be moving, and I've come to find out different from speaking to people like Mike Simcoe from uh, kitefishing.com. Um, the hunting, when I spoke with Lee this morning, um, that is amazing. To me, that is amazing. You go out on 
a, a private reserve per se, and uh, you can hunt a specific thing. You can get uh, deer, you can get alligators, you can get hog. Um, you don't have to go out on public land, deal with um, the issues that you have on public land. Uh, I'm sure that it's a much controlled, much more controlled environment on a private reserve than it is on open land. Um, I've been many, many years ago, I was dove hunting and got rained on several times from people not watching what they're doing. I don't think you'd suffer that kind of thing on a private reserve because I think they're much more controlled than they are on, on land, uh, public land. So anyway, we're coming up against another break. I'd like to remind you, if you have a product that you would like uh, on our show, all you have to do is send me an email. That's me, M-E, at Riscala, R-I-S-C-A-L-L-A, Stevens, S-T-E-V-E-N-S, dot com. Me, at Riscala, Stevens, dot com. And I'll be happy to discuss it with you. I can tell you that I've only got a couple of spots left, um, but we will discuss uh, anyone who wants to help sponsor the show. We're always open for discussion and uh, be more than happy to assist you and, and have you assist us when we benefit each other. That's the kind of deals that I like to do. So I'm up against a break. Let's go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. It is the Fish Florida Show this morning with your freezing host, Riscala. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Fish Florida Show with your host, Riskella. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Battles aren't won solely on the field. That's a common misconception. Battles are won within. Over enemies of fear. Enemies of doubt. In that place where promises are kept. Promises to oneself. This is a physical training event. Promises to one's community. Healthy people move to bring out their house. Promises to one's country. In the heart of every Marine, you'll find a promise. A promise forever kept. A promise of battles won. You've seen how recent hurricanes have devastated whole communities, flooding and destroying homes. Join Habitat for Humanity as we work with families to repair and rebuild. You can help someone desperately in need of a place to call home. We will rebuild, but only with your help. Visit Habitat.org to support Habitat's work. Hello, I'm Hector Elizondo, and I want to talk to you about getting older. My body hurts, my joints ache, and sometimes I forget. I forget that doing all your own scenes for a movie isn't always the best decision, especially when you're galloping high speed on a horse named Archibello. So yes, my body hurts, but it's not because of my age. It's because I'm living my life. Don't let life pass you by. Take care of your brain health. It may just help you stay on top of your game. Oh, Archibello! Learn more at brainhealth.gov. Hey, y'all. Cedric the Entertainer here with Niecy Nash, taking a break from shooting the soul man to introduce you to Patience. Hi. Patience is a patient at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Families never receive a bill from St. Jude for anything because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. St. Jude won't give up until they end childhood cancer, sickle cell, and other deadly diseases. Because of you, there is St. Jude. Learn more at stjude.org. My vehicle was sent six feet in the air in a ball of fire. I thought it was going to die. It uh, ripped my arm off. It broke my right femur. I took such a hard blow to the head that my retina was torn apart. Say a prayer for peace. I'm Trace Adkins. I want to tell you about these true American heroes and how you can show your thanks by helping them through Wounded Warrior Project. They reached out to us as a family. And they never forgot about us. The job of helping thousands of our wounded warriors rebuild their lives is massive and growing every day. That's why your gift of just $19 a month is so important. Many of these service members suffer traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder. 
They helped me basically put my life back together. If it wasn't for Wounded Warrior Project, I would be a statistic right now. I would have been one of those soldiers who came home and committed suicide. I'm in the fields of Vietnam, the mountains of Afghanistan. Your gift today of $19 a month can help us provide the programs and services desperately needed by our wounded service members. Call or go online with a pledge and you'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. Make that call now. Say a prayer for peace. You're listening to WDBFRadio.com, a tune in station. All right, I'm fishing home and cast it in the water. I'm fishing till dawn. Oh my, I caught a shark. I'm fishing it all and on. When the sun shines all day. It's the Fish Florida Show with your host, Riscola Stevens, bringing the outdoors to you every Sunday morning, 8 to 10 a.m. on the WDBF Radio Network. And now, your host, Riscola Stevens. All right, we are back on a chilly South Florida morning. I uh, wanted to kind of make an announcement, if you would. Uh, uh, I just heard from Tim Ortego. He was supposed to call in earlier. He did not call in. The reason he did not call in is he is in the emergency room. Um, he has apparently sliced the end of his finger off doing something. He just sent me a wonderful picture of that. While I'm thinking about that, there was a fishing uh, tournament going on in Lake Okeechobee. Uh, a couple of people turned up missing. Um, please pray for these people. I'm a firm believer in prayer. I'm a firm believer that prayer can make all the difference in the world. Please remember to pray for these families. Um, I, I don't know if there was two people in particular, a uh, vessel that went down. Uh, they found one. I don't know if they found the other one yet. The one they found, I'm sure, is not in very good condition. Uh, Lake Okeechobee, to be exposed to Lake o- Eco- Okeechobee waters for a long degree of time is not good for the body. So please just remember to pray for them. Anyway, um, just something to bear in mind. What we can do for each other is one of the most powerful things we can do for each other. Let me uh, let me get Pasta on here. Pasta, uh, he has a very, very unique line of product. He is a uh, genuine genuinely a unique artist if 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 i could say that uh and he's down there in the keys so pasta good morning sir welcome to the fish florida Hi. show appreciate you calling in thank you very much yeah it's real nice today here in alamorada so uh everything's looking pretty good down here so far warming up yeah it's warming up uh actually i think this week's going to be where everybody gets back on the water a little bit more and uh i think the chill is going to be cut back to where we can actually start boating again yeah, I heard from someone else, and they're expecting uh, activity to pick up once it begins to warm up again. Um, let's talk a yeah. little bit about what you have with regard to the product that you have, because I looked at it, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Describe what you do. Well, marine life painter, you know, pelagics, offshore and inshore, and then some coastal lifestyle work, um, sea turtle work with the you know, sea turtle conservancy at Melbourne Beach, been heavy with them, and uh, basically – Anything aquatic, I spent my entire life as a young boy uh, following the fish and, and painting the fish and learning everything I can. And I preach that to the young kids if you're going to paint them to learn the anatomy and how they eat, and where they swim, and why they're shaped that way, and the colors, why they're, it's not just such a pretty fish to look at. It's nature's way of, you know, using that uh, structure for their, for their life, you know, for their survival. So I, I like to learn all aspects of the fish when I paint or any, any marine life when I paint. So I'm true to form, and my clients know that. You know, they're they're avid as well in their own circles. So the connection is usually pretty strong with the fact that they kind of see that I know what I'm talking about when I paint, you know, a game fish per, per se. So that's how I live my life. You know, I really I was a geek when I was a young boy about it, and I'm 59, and I'm more geeked out today than I was when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> what is what your favorite you? substrate to paint on? Canvas. I'm an old school guy. Everything's canvas. It's canvas, acrylics and oils. I'm doing a lot more oils in 2018. Um, I was doing oils and did a lot of acrylic work, but I painted an oil painting style called Ala Prima. You know, I was born in Italy and my dad was an oil painter. And Ala Prima is, uh, is like wet on wet in one sitting type of thing where you're really pushing paint on top of paint. It's very oil painted, painterly uh, style. And that's kind of the style that I brought to the marine life world. 
instead of the illustrator style, I went with more of the European painted styles. And uh, that was a little bit of a claim to fame for me as far as collector base. Uh, they started putting it in their living rooms and their great rooms instead of just the den or the office where some of the other uh, marine art would live over the years. And I have a lot of couples and women buying my marine life work. So that was a feather of my cap because it was mostly stereotypical where, you know, you get the guy at the boat show buying it and the, the girl would kind of pull the guy out of the booth and would keep going. And all of a sudden they started stopping and seeing my art. It was a little bit more artistic and painterly and, I put more flair to it here and there, and it just started ringing a bell. And the career took off when I started doing that more. Wow, so that's 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 kind of where I live on that. And and the average? Do you have an average size, or you paint any size? Well, I primarily work big. I work in the forty, fifty, sixty inch range. I like that. The power of, of the fish is is brought to life better on a larger scale then of course with reproduction work we can scale it back on the g clays can be anything from an 8 by 10 11 by 14 you know we have those in the gallery we have things for 150 dollars in the gallery all the way up to uh you know twenty thousand dollars in the gallery so but it's nice that i have a price point for it just about everybody uh the website has a print of the month i think that's i, th I think it's 70 75 dollars or something hand signed by me and every month we change that out and uh, I, I really want people to have the art and the experience of the art. I have plenty of great collectors that really, you know, do do things on a grand scale. But my thing is, want uh, other people to uh, be able to experience the art at all levels. And and we do. We have some young collectors now that their fathers collect my art, and the kids are fishing, and the kids are collecting my art. And wow. when a kid saves his money to buy a piece of art, that's a transaction that is a little bit more powerful than just somebody writing a big check, you know. Or you aren't kidding. Absolutely. Yeah. That that is a lesson of life that is so valuable. Um, I, yeah. I commend yeah. those parents who are doing that. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, you mentioned gallery. Where's the gallery? It's right in the heart of Isla Mirada, 81 and a half across from like worldwide sports and really the heart of the fishing capital of the world at Isla Mirada. And I'm right on the old highway, kind of established an art district there about seven years ago. I was the founding father of it. And it's been going strong with art galleries and restaurants all around us. We have a third Thursday art walk if anybody's coming in for the weekend. And uh, we're pretty established. I, I'm in the 1937 Red Cross house that was built after the storm of 35. And even though we just went through with Irma, those storms, uh, Camille and Don and all that, were in the same range. Mm -hmm. And we're in the heart of all that. And uh, we have an historic Red Cross house that was built after the 35 storm. And it's a very, very nice uh, building to be in, have an art gallery in. And it's got a lot of history there. And you got the photos uh, from the old days are in it too as well. Wow. The, the gallery is available Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday? Uh, s seven days a week. I have a small staff myself. Uh, I, I'm, I'm in and out as much as I can be. My wife runs an Angela uh, with Dee Dee. Uh, she's our assistant, and I have a production guy. So we have a little staff. We have actually second gallery across the street, but I mostly focus on the uh, on the downtown gallery, and that's that's kind of like where we lived, where we started life in. And uh, as far as, you know, I say live, I mean artistically. And then, uh, you know, so we're open seven days a week. And Art by Pasta is a great new website that just got built, rebuilt into a commerce site. So you can actually hit buttons and things will find out, find their way to your door. <laughs> so Excellent. It, it's pretty well, good. Mr. Pasta, I did get I a small, that name. I, I did get a small fish report by a, a legendary inshore uh, guy that came in to talk art and fishing yesterday, Dale Perez came in and we started talking about art and he said that the snook had been held up really, really well up in the back country, up in the flamingo with this cold weather or up in holes and they are hungry. They are chewing it. And the snook mm. bite has been really, really good in the back, in the backside. I did well, find thank out. You for that. that. I appreciate that. There. Well, I'm, I'm up against my next guest and pasta. Thank you so much. I love yeah. that name, by the way. Um, I couldn't imagine that you're Italian. <laughs> uh, thank you for taking the time <laughs> to call in. Thank you for sharing. I am so appreciative of uh, the fishing report that you gave looking forward to having you back on in the future my friend god bless you happy new year to you and uh warm up hey. same here and come on down everything's great down here god bless you thank you pasta there he goes ladies and gentlemen that's pasta tantaleo you can find him online art by pasta and uh some very very unique and very special 
uh, artistry available for you. My next guest, Robert. Robert is with uh, Fishing Florida Magazine, uh, whom I asked to come on at the last moment. Thank you so much for being there for me, Robert. I've had such a difficulty this week. I've uh, shared with the audience that I, I made a mistake this week by changing cell phone services and not being absolutely prepared. I thought I was, but I wasn't. And because I've been dealing with a technology that I wasn't uh, familiar with, uh, it really created a nightmare for me. And I found myself up against the wall, and I needed a spot filled. And Robert was kind enough to say, heck yeah, Riscala, I will be there for you. Good morning, sir. How's everybody doing out there? Well, we're warming up. Yeah, we are too. Um, got a few things to talk about if you got a few minutes. Absolutely. I was uh, with Patrick Price from Daymaker Charters and Stuart yesterday, who was in getting ready for a tournament. He was out uh, with some clients. The uh, sailfish bite is just huge right now. Uh, in the last two and a half days, he has caught 23. He released them all, obviously. But uh, that, he said, the mahi bite is, is definitely on. Uh, triple tail, and he said, with this cold front, as it comes through and it starts to warm up, look for a bunch of cobia in close. So there's a there's a lot of great fishing going on out there, and I, I heard your last guest speaking of, about snook. Uh, Bill Nast, who uh, is over in the Crystal River in Yankee Town area, did say that we did lose a few snook up there further north because of the cold front, but he said it wasn't as bad as it was a few years ago when we lost a lot. Uh, but we lost a few, but not that not that bad. Also got a report from down by your last guest there from Key Largo uh, against the grain charters who said the mahi, the wahoo, and the sails obviously have been great, and also great snapper fishing out on the reef. So wherever everybody's headed, it looks like the fishing will be good. Um, the redfish should be uh, definitely back on after this cold front has passed through over on the West Coast. So, uh, Robert, that, I don't recall. Yeah. Are you on the West Coast? Is that where you're at? No, no. But uh, I, I've been talking to a bunch of guys on the West Coast because of that cold front coming through they got it pretty bad over on the west coast especially north of tampa which mm -hmm. is about far as far north as the snook will travel and then we lost some up in that area but uh no we're actually going to be doing some stuff over on the west coast with some of the captains over there for a program that we call get get them hooked with kids getting them out fishing we're going to be out with matt fuejo and a couple of other captains uh in the next couple of months getting some kids out fishing which will be good for the kids and hopefully good for their parents so they learn how to take their kids outdoors and do other things other than sit on cell phones, So, which will be a good Robert, thing. I, I don't know if you were listening earlier, but it's one of the reasons I have people like you come on the show is because you're family-oriented. And one of my passions is to bring the family unit back together again because throughout the years I have seen literally the family unit being torn apart. One of the activities that uh, I, as a family, when I was younger, as my dad did for us, was to take us fishing. The whole family would go fishing, minimum of two times, usually three times a week. A anywhere from, we lit, I grew up in South Florida, down in Miami, anywhere from down in the Keys, off the bridges, off the shore, to Naples, to Tampa, uh, just a wide variety of places fishing. It really made a difference for us as a family. Um, we were a small oh, family, and my brother is my best friend. I can rely on my brother. And I've seen families today where brothers and, and sisters don't get along. They're they're not friends. And it's yeah. activities like this. The electronics have gotten in the way. So Yeah. It's activities I think the electronics like have definitely gotten in the way. And, and we encourage not only just fishing, fishing, hiking, camping, uh, biking, anything that gets a family outdoors together. Um as a matter of fact, uh, my wife is a, a mountain bike rider, and there's a group um, of mountain bike riders now, and they're all over the place. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that families can do together, and, and we just want them outside enjoying the – I mean, we, we all live in Florida for a reason. Uh, the weather's beautiful, and it's, mm -hmm. it's a great place to be outside. So why be inside playing video games when you could be outside doing something else with your family? So. Well, when I was growing up, my video game was outside. My my curfew was sun up, get your butt out of the house. Sun down, get your butt in the house. It was that simple. You know, I, I said earlier that when the challenges in life, when you have a simple answer, those are typically the best and most permanent answers. It was sun up, you get out and go play. Leave me alone. And sun down, get your behind back in here. 
Uh, we were out all day long doing something, but we certainly weren't in front of a yep. video game or in, on a smart device of some sort, uh, walking around almost like a zombie sometimes. It, it, it does concern me. I see the relationships no, you're quickly deteriorating. Correct. Yeah, the only warning sign we had was when the streetlights came on at night. You better be home. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, got to go. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. It is the Fish Florida Show. Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back in a week. Thank you.